Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl for Glam, turning back with another DIY tutorial. And yes, I'll be showing you guys how I use my Ayurveda mask for extreme hair growth. So if this is something you'd like to try, then keep on watching. So Ayurveda has many secrets that can help restore your hair growth volume and also hair hair thinning and i'm going to take you guys through the different herbs that i used here the first one was fenugreek and fenugreek has a lot of vitamins like vitamin a k and vitamin c fenugreek is also um have very high protein and it's also known to be beneficial against hair fall dandruff and also in the treatment of variety of scalp issues like dryness of the scalp or dryness of your hair, baldness and hair thinning. I, I also used amla powder. Amla powder is also a great herb for hair growth. It helps supply enough nourishment to your follicles which then increases hair growth. It also helps with the overall scalp health by removing dandruff and dissolving grease and dirt from your follicles. I also use the slippery hem which is quite rich in calcium which is essential for strengthening the hair. Now it also has amino acids which encourages the growth of strong and healthy hair. It's also great for detangling, it's great for conditioning of your hair and also helping treating dull hair. And the last Ayurveda herb that I use is Brig Draj. I think I got the pronunciation right. Now this herb is especially used for treating various hair issues. It suits the scalp, which in turn gives nourishment to hair follicles. And it also facilitates growth of new hair follicles and helps revive the volume of your hair. So guys while you're watching this video i just want to quickly state that for each of the powders that i used i used two tablespoons of the powder but you don't need to use the same major length if your hair is shorter of course you need uh, maybe like one tablespoon and if it's longer definitely you need more so this measurement is based on my hair length and volume so while you're mixing your Ayurveda, it's very important that you use warm water. It will help to mix the herbs together and also give you a smooth paste. So you want to ensure that you use warm water, not extremely hot water and not very cold water or room temperature, but you want to use warm water and mixing it. So when you're mixing your Ayurveda herbs with your warm water, you just want to make sure you get it right. You don't want to put so much water in it so it's not watery and you also don't want to make sure that it is not extremely thick you just want to get it right and perfect for you to apply it on your hair I'm above it. so now that i'm okay with what i have with the mixture that i have i'm going straight to adding oils and the first oil that i use is the egan oil which is great for moisturizing and conditioning of your hair. It also helps in reducing breakage and shedding. So just a few drops is okay. And the next oil is jojoba oil. Now this oil also helps in or encourages hair growth. It also helps with um, treating your scalp, the way of restoring your strands and hair follicles. It is just amazing. Now, if you've been on my channel, you know that I love olive oil. Olive oil is very um, is a good source of antioxidants. It helps to promote scalp. And I also use essential oil like lavender oil. Lavender oil speeds up hair growth. Like I just love how it improves the overall health of your scalp. Now I also use the Yilang Yilang oil, which is effective um, natural treatment to reduce hair fall. And if you notice, I'm using just a few drops of this essential oils. And the last essential oil that I used is the peppermint oil. Now, because it stimulates your scalp, it also helps 
with improving hair growth and prevent some hair loss it's also good with um, reducing the itching of your scalp or other um, hair scalp issues that you have and because peppermint menthol also imparts a freshening smell and tingly sensation on your scalp like that feels so good i always always love to use peppermint oil because of that so notice that all of the different essential oils that i use i make sure i use just like one to three drops of this oil because they are essential oil and you want to be very careful when you're using essential oils <laughs> Once you're okay with the consistency that you have the next stage is to apply the products on your hair so make sure that you don't put on a white top yes because Ayurveda can really be messy I did my alt oil treatment and that is why I'm using the same top and that is what I'm showing to you guys right now so make sure you use a top you know you don't mind staining <laughs> because ayurveda can really be messy or applying ayurveda on your hair can really really be messy break from this world so make sure you spray to your hair with water if your hair is not wet because it's very important that your hair is wet when you're applying your ayurveda in paste on your hair and please make sure you detangle your hair as well so it's easier for you to apply the product on your hair. Make eye contact with clouds. Now I'm rising. I'm soaring above it. I just want to add that if you want to see results with using your Ayurveda treatment, you have to be consistent. It is not something you use today and then you remember to use it after three months. No. It has to be part of your hair regime. It has to be part of your hair routine. I have a routine that is working for me. So you should have a routine that is working for you as well. So for me, I use Ayurveda two times in a month. So the first time I use it, I use it as a mask. And this is what I am using right now. A mask meaning I don't have I don't have any conditioner to it. Just the Ayurveda hair and my oils. And then I go in to deep condition my hair. Then the second time I use it in a month, I use it as a gloss. What that means is that I add my um, deep conditioning treatment to the Ayurveda, so I don't need to deep condition my hair after using it in my hair. So depending on how you want to use it, and depending on your time and your routine, and most importantly, depending on your hair routine and regime. So make sure that when you're having a hair regime, it's something that will work for you not just about my video but something you know you can keep doing and because i always love to incorporate ayurveda i also make my own my own ayurveda oils i also have a video coming up on how you can use your own ayurveda oil so make sure please guys it's very important that you're consistent if you use it just once i promise you you're not going to see any result if you use it just twice and you're done with it you won't see any result either so it's something that you have to be consistent with the same way you do your deep conditioning treatment regularly is the same way you want to add your ayurveda treatment to your hair routine or your hair regime so make sure guys if you're using this product i'm just saying it, i know i keep repeating myself over and over again but please make sure you're consistent consistency is key with any product that you use with any routine that you have if you're not consistent you will definitely not see any results
guys, I am done applying the Ayurveda mix on my hair. Ayurveda can be really messy, like really, really messy. So make sure you apply it in places where you don't mind being messy and you know, you can later go in and clear out the mess. And I have on my shower cap. I'm still going to go ahead and do like two other um, shower cap just to make sure I get extra heat in my hair. And then I'm going to wash off, go straight with my deep conditioning treatment make sure it is a moisturizing deep conditioning treatment because you need moisture like moisture 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 is very very important especially because i have low porosity hair so moisture is a must for me so after i'm done going in with my deep conditioning um treatments i'm going to wash that off and then the last stage is to lock in the moisture put in the leave-in conditioner your oils your bottles you know whatever thing you use as your uh, moisturizing routine so you can go ahead and do that and then you style your hair so basically that's that's it with the ayurveda mix anytime you do your ayurveda treatment especially when you use it as a mask please follow it with a deep conditioning treatment a moisturizing deep conditioning treatment it is very very important to follow through with that okay so i already have a video of where i did the ayurveda mix and then um my deep conditioning treatment i follow through with how i prep my hair for the next style and i'm gonna leave it somewhere here so you can click on that one and see what i did so thank you guys for sticking with me to the end of this video don't forget to like share and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so like i said i'll be showing you guys more and more ways of incorporating ayurveda into your hair routine which is very 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 important okay so until my next video bye guys